Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Sheena Ferocious and I am a shameless art school sellout turned successful IT professional. The goal of this channel is to celebrate the ferociousness in us all. And I accomplished this a few ways. One is through story times, giving advice, and of course, makeup, which we're gonna be doing today. And if this all sounds cool to you, please consider joining my lioness pride. Subscribe down below. Today's video is going to be a take on the classic smoky eye with red lip. This is essentially the little black dress of makeup when it comes to just um, how timeless and classic it is. I don't think it's ever going to go out of style. It's always been in style since the beginning of time, it seems. So I thought I would just do a basic smoky eye red lip look for all y'all today. And um, I'm using this right here with the, this is the Alyssa Edwards um, Anastasia, Anastasia of Beverly Hills palette. So one thing about me, um, I do resurrect older palettes and use them. So just get used to that if you watch my channel. And I'm not someone who likes to just buy products to buy products and then never use them again or only use them once just for a YouTube channel. I actually use this stuff, especially if I like it. Like I really love this palette. So I'm gonna use this today to accomplish this classic look. I'm a little discombobulated because a few things. First of all, Okay. See, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, guys, guys. Let me tell you what just happened. Okay, so for those who don't follow my channel, you might not know that I have a neurological disorder that <laughs> I'm trying to get under control with the right med meds, but that's a whole other story. So I am experiencing like certain things with my extremities. So here, here's what happened. So when I went into my makeup room today, um, this room, the room that I'm in right now, I uh, this. I hate even telling the story. I, I walk into the room and I see a huge house centipede. I think it's a house centipede. I always get house centipedes and house millipedes mixed up. I think it was a house centipede. Is it, oh, ugh, just, ugh. And it was on the wall, it was on the ceiling and it was huge and it was just, it seemed a little like out of it. Like it was kind of moving funny and it fell off the ceiling. As soon as I made eye contact with it, I went to get my um, bug spray. And it's like almost like it saw me and it saw what I was about to do. And it fell off the top, it was right above me, fell into my chair, jumped off my chair and made a beeline underneath my desk, my vanity. I looked for it, this has happened a few hours ago. I looked for it, I looked for it, I sprayed underneath this area. I'm still paranoid about it being around here and like I have to scoot in in order to film. So I can't see now what's underneath me and like whenever I get the crawling feelings, which I get because of the neurological things, I think it's the house centipede. So bear with me, bear with me. If, I, if you catch me like looking around as I'm like filming, that's, I'm just a little, a little, because like they're nocturnal. So I don't know why it was, it was like around, 7 a.m. when I saw it and I'm like either you're sick you're really hungry or you're looking for a mate hope it's dead I hope that he's dead um, I'm doing a timeless classic look it's just a smoky eye with red lip um, I'm just gonna do my take on it and I think it's a good look to master because it is timeless and it is something that I think makes you look very put together um, it's a very simple look you don't have to do a lot to achieve it. Although knowing myself, I'll probably be doing a lot today. And just to refresh people's memories about what this palette looks like, this is what it looks like. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna dip into is this color down here. And it's called the Supreme. Oh wait, I've lost my mind. Kinda helps if I put on eyeshadow primer at e.l.f putty primer oh another thing too is um i'm sick i mean obviously i'm sick but i mean like i have a head cold now too and so i'm nasal and i'm congested and like my words are slurring i can't do anything about it you guys i'm sorry oh yeah so i went ahead and did my face off camera just to save time um what i used is my holy grail which is my mark jacobs shameless youthful look foundation 
and the color for this is deep y570 i think they're going to discontinue this i have a feeling i haven't checked the website but i know that they had a whole bunch of sales and they weren't restocking the foundation which is a major bummer because i love that foundation i just brightened my face with this right here this is uh fenty beauty uh pro filter concealer the color is 390. i used a couple of things to like set my under eye area i used this as well and then i also used a highlighter i used the um sephora pro palette uh pro face palette and then for the cheeks i used this nyx it's called sweet cheeks blush and it's the color is called boom and bloom my eyebrows, I, you guys, you know, you know, I don't do much with my eyebrows. I just use this NYX tinted brow mascara. I contoured also with uh, the the Sephora Pro face palette, so I did that to do the contouring, and I think that's everything. All right, now let's get started. So I'm dipping into the color the Supreme. Next, I'm going to use this color called Inspire. It's a sparkly color right here, sparkly gold. And I'm gonna use this color just to highlight underneath my brow area. I'm just gonna go in again and kind of darken up my crease a little bit with the Supreme color. And then I'm just gonna bring it up a little higher along the brow area. Next, I'm going to use the color Ho. Sorry, that makes me laugh. Which is this color right here. Just to add some dimension. Next, I'm going to use the color called BBDC. And that's the color I'm going to start putting on my eyelid. And I'm kind of just carving up the shape that I want to make. So I have hooded eyes, as you can see. So it's really important, you know, when you have hooded eyes to try to bring up, bring the color up a little bit higher so that when you open your eyes, you can see the color. Don't be afraid to do that. Don't worry, you can't screw this up. And I'm just taking my time and I'm just adding color very slowly i know people don't like to blend but that's how you get a really good look is through blending so you can never blend too much so i'm just going to feather this up feather this out a little bit kind of diffuse it and then i'm going to take a little bit more i'm just going to um, lift my eye up not only do I have hooded eyes, but I also have downward turn eyes as well. So I like, this is just my preference. I like to just lift my eyes up a little bit. So now we're ready to add the black. The black color in this palette is called Beast and it's right here. So I'm starting by working on the outside of my eye and now I'm gonna take that into my crease. And blend, 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 blend. So now that I've worked it into my crease, I'm gonna blow it out with a clean brush, clean fluffy brush. look I'm gonna add a little bit more black and then I'm going to move on to like my lower eyelid in a second so next I'm gonna dip into the black 
and then I'm just gonna connect everything. Okay, so another thing I'm gonna do is for the inner corner, I'm gonna use this color right here and it's called DDC, no, DDG. I think it's DDG. So I'm just highlighting the inner corner of my eye, this color. So next I'm gonna use my NYX NYX. It's called That's the Point Liner. I'm left-handed, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but bear with me. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do, do the waterline with my Linda Hallberg crayon. The core crayon set. And I'm just gonna pick the black out of here. And then I'm gonna put my favorite mascara, which is Mosor. Did I say it right? Mosor, yeah, Mosor Big. I think I was saying it Monsor in one of the videos. That's not how you say it. Mosor Big. So I'm gonna finish the other eye off camera. I'll be right back. Hi everyone, I'm back. There was no fallout as you can see. I just realized I didn't set my under eye area for fallout, but luckily there is no fallout, so we're good. I just finished it with this. This is the Seate London uh, Everyday Vacay Setting Spray. Core crayon set. And I'm just gonna grab this color called it's like the light it's a light brown it's called grige or grage and what i'm doing is my lips are chapped a little bit um yes i exfoliate it yes i put lip balm on them but i just want to create a neutral even canvas for for the the red because red can be really hard on chapped lips ideally i wouldn't wear red if my lips aren't aren't straight just as a general rule, but since I'm doing this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and do, do uh, red anyway. So I'm gonna do that. I know it looks scary. Ah! This is Melted Matte by Too Faced, and it's in Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick by Too Faced, and it's in Drop Dead Red. I'm gonna let this dry, and I'm probably gonna put a second coat on there. So this is a smoky eye um, with a red lip. This is very avant-garde looking. This is very ferocious. The, the name of the channel is Sheena Ferocious. This is ferocious. Obviously, if you want to do a more, um, more conservative, more like um, Audrey Hepburn, like classic from that perspective, um, then you would just use you can still use this color lip or you can use a brighter lip um lined with black and then also instead of just using uh purple you would use brown um use black and brown to smoke your eye out that'd be a more muted look more everyday type of classic look and then you wouldn't probably make the fox eye so harsh you'd probably just subtly make the fox eye but again me i gotta be extra right sheena ferocious i gotta be extra now i'm just gonna put a second coat of this on I like fox eyes by the way I've been doing fox eyes before the trend became popular again and uh, the reason why is because I have hooded eyes and I don't like doing I don't like the way winged eyeliner looks on me I just don't I personally don't like it so I, I always prefer to do a fox eye thanks for watching everyone See you in my next video. Bye-bye.